Hey guys, welcome back to part 3 of our adventures in KL So basically this video contains more of us eating our lunch before we're going back to Singapore And then yeah, there's not a lot of things in this video that was captured on camera But watch till the end because at the end I will tell some of the things that happened if I remember So yeah, just watch it Hey guys, welcome back to the end. I'm back. So, yeah. Hey guys, welcome to the end of the video. As you can see, there was not a lot of things recorded. Okay, so in the beginning, why I recorded that part was because the night before um, we asked we asked Ais, I think to help check what's the time for the bus and he said 1.30pm so okay we got ready and then we woke up early and then I don't know why but we rechecked the timing just to make sure it's correct I guess and in the end it was actually 3.30 not 1.30 so yeah we got up quite early so since we were still early we already packed our bags and everything so we left the airbnb to get some lunch at, I cannot remember a Bajaya Times Square. Yes, Bajaya Times Square hotel there. So uh, after we ate, we walked around a bit and see if we can buy anything last minute. And we did. We sort of bought our friendship ring. Uh, let me just see. No, it's not. 
you know what never mind i will show you guys a picture over here yes those are the friendship rings that we bought after we ate lunch and we went back to our Airbnb and bought the bus uh, that's part of the videos that we keep saying go check go check so that is the mode of transportation while we were there and we went to go anywhere further than KLCC our Airbnb was close to the KLC so if we want to go further we had to um, take Gojek I don't know why how it happened but apparently we made a theme song for Gojek um, but it yeah. anyways so that's the story of us keep repeating Gojek Gojek truth 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 if you guys notice that the rhythm sounds like something but okay never mind no copyright issues no 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 and we bought the bus right and then we reached the Singapore custom like how many hours did I can't remember but anyways so once you reach Singapore customs of course you have to take down all your luggages all your bags and stuff right so already go down and then while walking up towards the escalator to go to uh, stamp the passport I realized my phone was missing my phone that I just bought my phone that had all the videos my phone that had all the pictures in there was missing obviously I panicked my friends tried to call and I did not feel any vibration and you know I hear any sound so my only thought was it's still on the bus. Guys, I panicked. So after checking the passport, I left my bags, luggages with my friends. I ran down the escalator to where the bus was waiting for the other passengers. Because some of them do not stop where we stopped. And some of them stopped even more inside of Singapore. So the bus was just parking there waiting for the rest of the passengers to get on board and then I ran I legit ran guys, I do not run but that day, I ran I ran through the bus, I saw the driver and I was like my phone is up there and he just let me go up I went up and there it was on the chair I was sitting on it was just there looking at me innocently Probably blaming me for leaving it there. <sighs> so guys, before you leave the bus, the plane, whatever you're taking, always check back behind. On your chair, on where you put your stuff in front of the chair, you know what's that called? The netting thing. Let's make sure you didn't leave anything behind. I was stupid, I didn't check. And that's what happened. I was lucky that I found it but imagine if I don't all these videos you wouldn't be seeing it today all the pictures that I posted it wouldn't have been posted and I just bought the phone I just bought the phone like a few days before the trip so guys do not be like me always double check your stuff okay Anyways, that is all I've got to say. Be careful when you're on a trip. Do not lose your things. And Goja is really a good mode of transport when you are in Malaysia. Quite cheap with you guys. So, yeah. Um, as usual, like, comment, subscribe if you enjoy these videos. Um, after this whole circuit breaker thing. And hopefully we'll get to go on more trips together. And if not, we're gonna meet each other and just have fun, you know. So stay tuned for our videos in the future. Might not be so near because we cannot meet each other yet. So yeah, bye. Thank you for watching. Boom.